Hello everyone, Dr. Margaret here again to discuss on the books of the Bible, and so today we'll be looking at a brief summary on the book of Daniel. The book of Daniel was written by the prophet Daniel sometime between 540 and 530 BC. It contains 12 chapters, and it was written for the children of Israel. The book of Daniel records the actions, prophecies, and visions of Daniel. This book was written sometime around the 6th century, highlights the... Uh, period when God's children were taken to Babylon after the fall of Judah, the southern kingdom. The objective was to offer hope to God's people living in exile in Babylon. The book of Daniel emphasizes the significance of prayer, steadfastness, and faithfulness to God in the face of trials and temptations. Daniel is recognized as the last major prophet in the Old Testament and was a devoted servant of God. Along with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel remains obedient to God and did not compromise his faith nor values despite the temptations surrounding him. And we see this, an example of this in uh, Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. Now, the first six chapters of Daniel are often referred to as the Babylonian narratives. These chapters recount the experiences of Daniel, later named Belteshazzar and his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, who were taken captive in Babylon. These young men, whose names were later changed to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, exemplified the importance of remaining faithful to God, serving as a powerful example of resisting cultural pressures that oppose his God's word. Notably, uh, notably in Babylon, uh, name changes were standard practice used to assimilate captives into the local culture and religion. So it is it is good to know that. In contrast, chapter seven, uh, chapter seven through twelve, the book of Daniel focuses on uh, apocalyptic versions. Daniel foresaw the fall of the Babylonian kingdom in 539 BC and the rise of the Medo Persian Empire. The apocalyptic version, uh, visions contained in these chapters are some of the most intriguing and symbolically rich passages in the Bible. Daniel's visions are a compelling collection, each brimming with vivid imagery and powerful prophetic messages that illuminate future events. Throughout his service, God granted Daniel favor in the eyes of various kings, including Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, Darius, and Cyrus. This high standing led to jealousy among other officials as illustrated in Daniel chapter six, where they conspired against him to remove him from his position. Now, despite these plots, God remained in complete control, guiding the hearts of the kings. This sovereignty is emphasized in Daniel chapter two, where Daniel praises God stating, he changes times and seasons. He removes kings and set up kings, Daniel 2.21. Additionally, Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1, from the ES, uh, English Standard Version, echoes this, this idea, and it states, The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. These scriptures highlight themes of divine wisdom, the sovereignty of God, and the transient nature of earthly kingdoms. Daniel exemplified faithfulness to God, demonstrating integrity and serving as a model for how Christians should live. The fruits of his character, as referenced in Matthew chapter 7, 15 to 20, showcased his righteousness and confirmed his identity as a child of the living God. And so we end um, here with a brief summary on the book of Daniel. We will continue next time on the book of Hosea. Until then, remain blessed and take care.